I'm Nathan Austin with MyTech Partners, and joining me is Gerald Howland, the Director of Technical Services for MyTech. In the last 24 hours, news broke about a security vulnerability that affected wireless. Uh, Gerald, could you tell us a little bit about that security vulnerability and how it's impactful to businesses? Yeah, basically a problem was found with uh, wireless networks that utilize the WPA or WTPA2 protocols or languages on the wireless network. Uh, this problem allows an attacker to basically either read or inject um, information into the network. Great. So uh, it's a high, very high level understanding of, of the risk. Basically, what we thought to be secure from wireless is now not and very easily to be breached. So can you talk about some of the business risk questions that uh, any business that is using Wi-Fi or wireless may need to consider to understand their risk? Yeah, well, basically, anybody who uses wireless is, is at risk right now. Um, but an attacker needs to be in proximity of that wireless network. So customers that are in multi-tenant or, or high-density type environments are the biggest risk. Um, also, secure communications using websites like HTTPS or SSL VPNs helps mitigate the problem because they can't see the data as it's encrypted twice. Like online banking, for example. Exactly. Very good. Um, also, uh, understanding your business's requirements for needs, uh, especially through this time where the risk is very high. Um, you know, do you need wireless in your business? Do you actually, you know, what are the requirements for operation of that business? Uh, and wireless network is, is kind of key at this point. So, for instance, if a business was able to uh, have wired and wireless connections, encouraging your, encouraging your staff to stay wired uh, until a fix or solution is resolved. Is that exactly. one of the examples? Yep. Very good. Okay, so uh, what are some of the things? So, if you, you're a business and you've asked yourself these questions, uh, what are some of the things that a business can do if they find themselves at risk? Well, the easiest thing is, is let's turn off the Wi-Fi. Um, nobody wants to do it. It's always kind of a big deal to do, but that's, you know, that's kind of the action that needs to be done. Um, also, treat all your connections as, as, as though they are insecure. So making sure that they are, you know, you use secure websites or VPN tunnels across them. So for example, if I want to treat it like, think about it as if I'm uh, an executive that travels or a person that uses uh, guest Wi-Fi in coffee shops or airports or hotels, basically treat all wireless like that. Uh, moving forward at this point. Exactly. Okay, very good. So, um, so my tech, I know we, uh, as a technical firm, we had to assess our risk in this situation. Uh, can you help us understand what, what are the actions we are taking to help mitigate our own risk and protect our clients? Yes, so we actually took kind of an aggressive action on this. Um, we've actually disabled our internal wireless systems uh, using just strictly guest Wi-Fi um, and, and treating it as though it is unsecure. Anybody who needs access via wireless to our internal resources, we're, we're making them use our SSL VPN uh, to gain access to the environment. All right, so uh, as you mentioned, that is a little bit of an aggressive stance, but we feel that in order to mitigate our risk as well as mitigate uh, the risk to potentially our customers' data and information, uh, that's the, the, the position we had to take. So uh, I'm Nate Austin, and this is Gerald Howland with MyTech. And while this story is very much developing over the coming days, we are going to work on releasing more information about the risks, the vulnerabilities, and the solutions that come about as far as what you can do to further protect yourself and when you might be able to pull yourself back out of this aggressive uh, state or the, the risky place that we're at today. So uh, stay tuned either by liking or following us on social media or subscribing to our newsletter. Thank you very much and have a great day.